Baby's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a mom. Right, so hello, my name is Jane Froze. Today I'm going to be making quite a bit. I feel like it's going to be quite a fun day today. I'm going to be making things that are colourful and lots of different textures and crunches and just a lot. It's my day where I like to make things, you know, for the, the rest of the week. So kind of like a meal prep, but not really a serious, like rigid kind of meal prep. Just something that's quite light and, and fun. I think the best way to really just enjoy your food in general is to make it fun and colourful and different textures and enjoy eating with other people as well. Today I'm going to be making breakfast, you know, very hotel style, big buffet. I'm just going to grab little bits and put them on plates and just, you know, it's, it's an easy style breakfast, kind of a kind of a lazy style breakfast, but still fun, still cool, looks great, you know, all of that. It's fun to do while Steph is home as well. I feel like I should take advantage of the fact that we're both home right now and I think it'll be fun. So I have just come back from the gym. I am still wearing my gym clothes. I just, you know, threw on this blazer because I'm freezing cold. So although I do feel like my home workouts are more efficient, I do like going to the gym just because, I don't know, there's like a an atmosphere in the gym. Sometimes it can give you that kind of motivation like to keep working out when you're around other people who are, you know, working out, like being healthy, even just doing these videos, right? Like I do them because I want people to, you know, be motivated and to give people ideas, like a community. So when I go to the gym, I go with my sister and we go together, which I feel like is more fun than her, like just coming over and we do like a, you know, a home workout. It's more interactive. Plus the gym has the Stairmaster and I love the Stairmaster. I mean, when I do the Stairmaster for 15 minutes, I feel like I have accomplished something. One of these days I will take you guys with me to the gym and yeah, you can see what I do in the gym as well. I do want to make this uh, breakfast, but I think first I'm going to have some juice. So I'm making this juice early in the morning just before I eat anything to go with my iron supplements. If you add vitamin C to iron, it just helps it to absorb better. And I'm making it in juice form instead of just eating, you know, an orange because it's just, I don't know, it's more fun. I really do think it's important to find these ways of making healthy eating fun. Like before, I used to never eat fruit. Now I have juices, I have yogurt bowls, smoothies, just so many different ways that I can get fruit in that I like. This first juice I made was absolutely disgusting. I mean, I put way too much celery in it and it just tasted disgusting. So I ended up doing another one. Now this one, yes, this was so much better. I added some carrots and then also some apples and it was delicious. I'm using this iron supplement right now, it's called Spartan. I'm just gonna pop this in the fridge next to the wine, of course. So I have been having like problems with my iron levels and I've been feeling, well, it's kind of, strange for me because I'm quite an energetic person but I have been feeling the difference like in my energy levels um even just like day-to-day -day stuff I actually did end up asking on Instagram if you guys have any kind of ways that you like to get iron in I literally got so many different messages of different foods that everyone was sharing with me tofu even like other legumes so yeah right now I'm experimenting with different like iron sources and then hopefully I can find something that really, really works for me that is more natural. There's nothing wrong with my Spartan ones and like supplementing of course, but I do, I would love to be able to actually spend that 20 pounds that I spend on the Spartan boxes 
on actual real fresh ingredients where I can make really lovely good meals rather than just a box of you know supplements. Iron is quite expensive it's not like buying I don't know a vitamin d spray that lasts I don't know six months or whatever the iron boxes last maybe two weeks or a month depending on what kind of supplier you get and it's like 15 20 pounds even something like 30 pounds okay so over here i still have this um it's the plant that steph gave me for valentine's day obviously very dead the flowers look very sad so i think i'm going to replant this i don't know if it's really called that replanting but basically i'm just gonna throw away this and put in a new one I'm not a gardener, however, I bought this plant that I think looks similar-ish size. It's definitely smaller than the plant pot, so hopefully it fits. This was only £2.70. Honestly, I think what I'm going to do from now on is just keep replanting it, replanting it. And yeah, whenever the flowers die, I have a nice new plant. Okay, I'm not sure what to do with Maybe I'll do it. Eventually. Okay, so I have to admit that was much easier than I thought. This plant at the bottom has its own kind of plant pot. And now I have to get rid of this trail of dead leaves all over the house. Just putting everything on plates and hoping that, yeah, we'll like some stuff. Greek yogurt. I'm just going to spoon out some outro. Another great way to make healthy eating fun and enjoyable is to eat with other people. It's just like what I said about working out. Being around other people who like to eat healthy as well will motivate you. Bread wise, I've gotten this bread. It was really cool that I saw at the Jam and Bakery. So I thought I'd try that. It is a type of rye bread, so loads of seeds in it and stuff. So cheese wise, trying a new cheese as well. Then over here we have some avocado and salmon. Steph already came in and ate a bit. We have the almond, so yeah, we can choose which almonds we like. Yogurt, only one yogurt because I don't think I'm gonna have any yogurt. I think Steph will just have yogurt. Then we have a salad. I need to add some dressing to the salad, so some olive oil and some balsamic vinegar. I think I will use white balsamic vinegar. I find that white balsamic vinegar goes really well with the tomatoes. And then we have, of course, the strawberries. Just bringing in the other half of the avocado. And that's all good. So yeah, this is pretty much how I make breakfast if it's for multiple people. I need to get Steph a knife and fork as well. In fact, he can just have mine and I'll grab one in a minute. Is that the right way around? Yeah. And then we have the baguette. So yeah, multiple bread options. I did not mention is yes it is easier to put together but you get a lot of plates so I've already put away like half the plates I've got to put away these and then I have quite a bit of mess from the baguette it was very you know crumbly and crusty almonds we ended up not even eating these <laughs> I feel like I haven't told you guys about one of the best things and literally I use this every no not every day but a lot for me it's like a complete lifesaver and literally do you guys use like gorillas or i think another one's called jiffy or but basically i use this app called gorilla and honest to god it's so good so basically i used to go food shopping twice a week i would spend an hour there i would have to 
carry everything, find everything. It just took a lot of time and energy. And even when I used to do um, my food shop online, that even takes energy as well because you have to sieve through everything. But the app is just so easy. You can just search what you want. It comes up, you put it in your cart, you have things from like your old cart. It's just, oh, it's amazing. And the variety is so good. The prices are not expensive. I, before I got it, I thought, when I thought about the idea of this, I thought, oh yeah, they're just gonna hike up the prices and that's how they're making their money. But no, obviously it's not as cheap as like going to Audi or something, but they have amazing prices and usually a lot of things are organic and then it's still the same price as like a normal kind of, like say if I got organic eggs on Gorilla, it would still be like the same price as normal eggs from the shop downstairs or from Tesco or whatever. I use it especially for those times, you know, you go in a food shop and sometimes you get home and you're so excited because you're like, okay, I'm about to make some protein pancakes or I'm about to make like a really nice kind of yogurt bowl, you know, a really Instagramable one. And then, you know, you realize that you forgot the banana or you forgot, you know, the actual, yogurt for your yogurt bowl that's something that i would do and before i would just either not make it and get like a unhealthy takeaway or i would have to go downstairs to the shop get it bring it back up and it's like time energy wasted and also the shop downstairs is always a lot more expensive this is not sponsored by the way not gifted nothing like that i just use it so often that i don't know maybe you guys will want to use it too if you do i do have a code obviously that they on the app it does say that you have like a refer the friend kind of code. I think they have gorillas in Los Angeles and New York and a few other places. They have it in the Netherlands, uh, Germany, France. So yeah, definitely check it out. If you use the promo code, you will get $5 or five pounds or whatever for free. And then I also will get five pounds for free as well. So it's a win-win. <laughs> some sweet potato and roasted vegetable quinoa salad. I love sweet potato because you can make it literally for so many different things, salads, soups, curries even. When I lived in America, my host family mother literally showed me how you can just wash it, pop some holes in it, pop it into the microwave for like four or five minutes and it's just done. And you can throw on whatever you want onto like a little baked potato. It's especially good for vegetarians, vegans, and yeah, just a great source of healthy carbs. I'm cutting them into quite chunky cubes because I want them to have a good bite like when I eat my salad. My salad won't have any meat in it so this is going to be like kind of the bulk of my salad. I'm also adding in like a bunch of other vegetables to roast. I'm adding in some peppers. I love peppers. I think they're so crunchy, so juicy and just add so much texture and crunch to any meal. I'm actually using the yellow one specifically because I don't know, I thought yellow would look nice in the salad. aubergines in my salad and like just cutting up really thin this is also called eggplant in some other countries and i really like the name eggplant as well because when you look at it like when it's growing on a plant it really does look like an egg eggplant just reminds me of like turkish food actually like really flavorful like moussakas or any kind of turkish food so i'm cutting them up really thin just so that they cook really easily and fast so with the courgettes i started off peeling them then i realized why am i peeling this i don't really need to peel them so i stopped peeling them i went straight into just cutting them up
Now we have some onions. Usually you guys know I cut onions super small, super thin for like things like guacamole, salsa, all of that kind of stuff. But today I want it to, you know, be a real part of my salad. So I'm going to make them quite big. I'm going to give this place a little bit of a clean up and then put the rest of the onion because I will probably use it another day, but I'll pop it into the fridge. Okay, so these are all popped into a pan and then I'm just adding some pepper. On top of pepper, I also added some salt, some paprika, some cayenne pepper, oregano. Obviously, you can just add whatever you want to season it with. So I've decided, actually, I'm going to put the sweet potatoes in first because I'm worried that these will not cook. Potatoes in general take a really long time to cook and they need to be cooked on quite a high heat. Whereas things like the onions and stuff will actually cook really fast. So I'm going to pop these in here and then wait until they're kind of ready and then, um, you know, cook the rest of the stuff. Now I'm making some quinoa, so I'm going to measure this out because I like to measure it out quite precisely. I don't like my quinoa or my rice or anything like that to be too hard or too soft. I like it to be just, yeah, just right. So I'm putting in half a cup of quinoa right now and then now I'm putting in some water. So this is one cup of water and then I'm cooking it on a very low heat. So I put on a bed of greens, I put in some quinoa, so this is red quinoa and also white quinoa and then i'm going to pop on my veggies so these are all done i'm just going to pop these onto my salad i seasoned it with paprika some cayenne pepper some oregano a bit of this seasoning I just put it all buy these pomegranate seeds like already taken out from the fruit but you know me I'm, I'm extra and then that is my salad oh, I can't wait the best thing about salad is when it has lots of different textures so the pomegranate will give it a little crunch the peppers will give it a little crunch too and the soup tails are nice and soft and everything will taste yummy i've put the rest of this i made so much quinoa i could have made just half of this to be honest but i put the rest of the salad in a little piano's box for tomorrow just a little warning to you guys um apparently pomegranate stains <laughs> i don't know how long it will take me to get this out later i've just popped into the kitchen to have a bit of tea so this is a rooibos tea it's infused with some orange, which is quite nice actually. I didn't expect it to be so nice. I brought these like clear glasses and actually it makes the whole tea drinking experience quite nice. There are lots of teas that I have that I never really knew what the color was. And it's quite nice to see the red color of this tea. I'm just making a smoothie. I have literally put in so much cacao powder because I really like my smoothies, or my chocolate smoothies to be very chocolatey, you know? Let's put this lid on. So I made this from a frozen banana. I popped in a bunch of ice as well. I used this almond milk. And yeah, here it is. I also added some cinnamon. So I'm making like a kind of snack now, but I'm also making a salad for the rest of the week. So I'll just add this to meals throughout the week as a little, you know, vegetable side. It's a pretty basic salad. I know it's a little bit boring, but it's good to just add to other meals, you know, just to give it a little bit of, you know, something. So we have some cucumber, some tomatoes, olive oil, salt, pepper. I'm also adding in some balsamic vinegar and some sunflower seeds. Oh, this part of the salad is what I'm going to have now. And then the rest of the salad, I'm going to keep dry. So no olive oil, no balsamic vinegar, and then pop it into the fridge. It's better to add actual dressing when you're going to actually eat the food, or else it just makes it wet, you know, just not great. 
I've added in some more tomatoes, more cucumber. As I said before, I like my salad to be quite juicy and yeah, they're gonna give the, the real juice to the salad. So later in the week, I'll probably add this to either like a good source of protein, like chicken wings, maybe add some coleslaw to it. Maybe even put this in like a wrap with a good source of protein. You might be able to already hear the oven going, but I am making some more granola. Obviously, I made granola in my last video, so I'm just gonna make some now for my breakfast tomorrow. So I've already put in the nuts. We have some cashew nuts, there's pecans, um, there are other nuts in here. Oh, I have the little naked almonds, and then I have the cloved almonds too. Banana, this banana looks, I just bought these and it looks kind of rough. Cinnamon. Salt. Let's mash up some banana. Crap. <laughs> okay. So this one is quite brown and this one's smashing quite easily. But this one, I think I'm going to have to get a knife and kind of smash that up. first before I um, try and like mash it up. I want it to like coat all of the oats really nicely so you want it to be super liquidy. I'm gonna put in some maple syrup. It has to be very liquidy so it just coats everything nicely rather than having like big clusters of banana. I think the yellow and the blue is making it look very green in the camera. Start with this mound and then we work our way up. Oh, that looks so good. Now that is looking pretty good already and it hasn't even gone in the oven. Spread it well. Just need to spread this well and then it's going right into the oven. I've already preheated it at 180. So I want to make a nice thin layer. I want it to kind of be quite close together as well. Okay, so that is my granola ready. You can see it's like in clusters, which I love. So I'm just going to wait for it to cool down and then I can have it for my breakfast tomorrow. So I make my own homemade granola because it's just so much more healthy. I can control how much sugar's in there. I can put in like a good balance between stevia and maple syrup and just make it sweet. But you know, still healthy as I like. I like to make a big pot of granola for most weeks and I put it in this clear jar just so I'm aware of how much I'm eating. So it's supposed to last me the week, so if I'm eating too much, I will know. I like to have it just to add a bit of crunch to any breakfast or any snack that I might have. And when I cook this, I cook it at 180 degrees Celsius. So that's 350 degrees Fahrenheit and I cooked it for about 15 minutes. But I did keep checking on it because it really, really can burn quite easily. So you have to keep checking on it, turn it a little bit, you know, just play around, especially the knots, the knots can burn. So that's it for me guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.